joining us. Now here at Trump National, we know the golf is five star all the way. But what you might not know is when it comes to creating the perfect wedding cake, Trump National also has a five star pastry chef. Ron Swart was born in the Netherlands and began perfecting his craft from one of the most prestigious master pastry chefs in all of Holland. Now he combines his passion for pastry and golf and brings them here to Trump National. I want to talk about a little bit of your background. When did you start making wedding cakes? Well, that was uh, quite a while back. Um, I'm from Holland, so we, uh, I went to school there um, and then started working in different bakeries in Amsterdam. Um, smaller size, okay. uh, catering to the neighborhood. And uh, I came to the United States um, and started working in a hotel business uh, from there which was a, uh, an entire different different thing. But sure. from there, uh, I found a job here at Trump's and uh, I've been here for about 12 years now. Wow, you know, what, making wedding cakes is such an art and everybody is so individual with what they want. So what is the process like when you sit down with the bride and she tells you what, what she wants? Well, there's um, uh, they have a, an opportunity to bring in samples okay. of, of cakes. They, they, they go through magazines, they look on the internet and um, pretty much whatever they bring in, I can copy that. We also have a, a book here okay. that uh, they can pick from. So there's a, a lots of lots of different ways um, of coming up with a nice cake. Uh, and then there's also uh, the tasting that goes yes. uh, first. Uh, they have a, an opportunity to, to try two different flavors, um, and they pick their favorite and. Uh, and we make that. Now, what is the most popular flavor for a wedding cake now? Because you see so many crazy flavors now, so. Right, there's a, uh, the, the most popular uh, flavor is strawberries and cream. Really, okay. Um, and then a, a, a close second is a chocolate, chocolate mousse. Yeah, you, you know, you really can't go wrong with chocolate, I don't think anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, chocolate is a, is a popular, uh, popular thing to work with. Yes. In general, but for, for wedding cakes, it's goes well. Now, Mark had a chance to, of course, watch you actually at work. What is an average day, though? How long does it take you to make an average wedding cake? Well, a wedding cake is uh, started earlier in the week uh, with baking the uh, sponge cake part, the chiffon. Um, then it's uh, later on we're, we're going to uh, start cutting and filling and frosting and finishing. Now, that, that all happens mostly on Fridays and Saturdays. Saturday would be the, the day to finish it because the party is usually Saturday night. So it's, it's, it's a lot of hours and a lot of time to put together one cake for sure. Yeah, there's, it's a time consuming thing. Uh, not all the wedding cakes are the same obviously, sure. so, so you have um, time consuming cakes and you know cakes that can be put together uh, fairly quick. But in general, the cakes that we make here are time consuming. Okay, now I know you're working all the time, but have you seen some of the cake shows on TV now that they have? Because it's sort of a whole new world opening up to all of us to see these cakes. You're right. It's um, it's it's definitely taken a taken on a, a different life. Yes. It, it, it used to be all fairly simple, and uh, nowadays you have uh, lots of crazy designs, yes. and uh, <laughs> yeah, and it, that all comes from from TV, really. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. And what's the largest cake that you've ever made? The largest one. Um, a few years ago, we had a, a somebody uh, called me and and wanted to see if I could make a cake for the anniversary of Hello Kitty, wow. which was the 30th anniversary, and um, we ended up making the cake downstairs. I do everything here in the kitchen, but um, we transformed the deli area into into a, a bakery, pretty much. Wow. And this cake uh, was going to feed 3,000 people. So uh, another reason why we did it in, in a different spot was uh, the size. Uh, we couldn't we couldn't go through any of the doors in the in the kitchen, so we had to go downstairs. And uh, that was definitely the biggest cake I've ever made. Wow, that's yeah, 3,000 people is a lot of people to feed. Yeah, I know at Christmas time too, you did the um, you did the setup of the village here as well. Is that right? Correct. Yeah, we do that every year. It's. Uh, it's a fun project. Uh, everybody's involved with it. Um, the gingerbread houses. Uh, it's all back behind us. Um, 
Yeah, you come into the lobby and uh, the, the, it looks like a winter wonderland, really. Quite something to see. Yeah. Now, where did you get your initial training? Did you actually go to a culinary school or a bakery school or just growing up? Or I did. I went to uh, the culinary school in Amsterdam, okay. um, <clears throat> which is a, um, uh, a v very old school. Uh, they uh, have a good system, too. Uh, you already work, you're already going to work place. Um, and then have uh, a teacher coming, com a teacher who comes to your workplace to uh, to grade you on certain uh, projects that you have to have to do. And how, many, how many year? How long does that take to go through it? To oh um, well, I did I did a, a few different things. I've, at first, I did a, a, the overall culinary thing, uh, the cooking, uh, serving, um, all that, and then I did a, a course in bread baking and pastries. Oh. And from there, I figured the pastries, I like that the best, so uh, I did another additional two years. Now, I know a lot of people that bake don't like to eat their own things. Now, do you, do you have one thing you love more than anything else or something you like to make the most? <laughs> um, I, I, I really rarely eat pastries. Yeah, um, yeah I'd be at a party and, uh, you know, I usually end up cutting the cake it at a works. party. But <laughs> as far as eating, I'll, I'll try it, but I'm not... I'm not a big pastry eater it's, myself. It's interesting because I'm a cupcake maker, and so I love to make them, but I don't really like to eat them. And people are like, "Why don't you eat them?" I'm like, "I don't know. I just I like to make them." So. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the same here. I mean, yeah. you, you're around it all the time, yeah. and uh, it's not. Uh, however, you know, working in a big kitchen like like I'm here, right. um, there's a lot of other stuff that that goes on, and uh, it's easy to get lost in, uh, in in trying stuff that other people make. Oh yeah, well it's okay to have things that other people make, you know. <laughs> yeah. You have to sample it to make sure. Yeah, that, that sampling that sampling uh, is justified. Uh, on my part, yeah, I, I know it. I know it's okay. You know it's good. And a very special thank you to Ron Swart and everyone here at Trump National that brings you the very best always. I'm Maria Sorreo and we will see you next time. <laughs>